Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. Today, in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you the final and last cave, that is the Lockstone Cave, where you can obtain the Specialist Ammunition 4. This will allow you to make the Fire Spark Arrows, the Smoke Arrows, and the Acid Arrows. So if you guys enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. For more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and content here on the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos to the channel also for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord the links to this of course you can find down below in a video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself so in order to craft these items you will need to defeat a boss a boss which will drop three items one will be a fragment of power a recipe and a key so with the recipe once you have learned it you will have learned the specialist ammunition four which will allow you to craft these three arrows to craft these three arrows you will also need the black blood which you obtain by farming the npcs in this area the arrows themselves of course can be crafted in the carpenter's bench or improved carpenter's bench and i will also be showing them off at the end of this video uh, of course this is a cave that has been recently revamped and in it there will be a three skull boss that you will have to fight. It is also a very dark cave so you may want to bring with you some sort of either powder to help you see in the dark or the night stalker mask that will allow you to see in the dark. So this is my location here on the map. There is basically one entrance and one exit so we basically go in and come out the same way whereas the previous cave had two entrances or two exits depending on which way you want to look at it it is a very easy cave all in all not very long and the boss is right at the end in a, a little arena sort of deal so this is what you can obtain the fragment of power the scroll for the specialist ammunition and of course a skeleton key at the end there's also a chest that you can use that skeleton key on obviously as i have already done several tests in this cave there will not necessarily be a skeleton key chest but i will kind of show you the general location from what i can remember where the chest spawns so before we do any of that i'm just going to put on my wonderful mask this is the night vision mask and i'm going to go in with the admin commands i'm going to fly in I'm just going to show you what you can expect to see. We'll be looking at the NPCs that you'll have to fight. And even with the night vision mask on, as you can see, it is fairly dark in here. Other than that, the cave is not all that complicated. A couple of NPCs, they are normal stuff that you can kill. Not that difficult, but do bear in mind that you'll have to fight these guys. Also, don't forget to farm them. You will want to get that black blood. There aren't any chests apart from the one at the end, not that I could find, if I did miss out anything please don't forget to mention it down below as I'm sure it will help other people do in this cave. This is the boss right here, so this is the ring or arena that I was referring to, and somewhere on this and right there, so somewhere in between here and here, I don't actually remember exactly where, but it's on this end, there will be a chest that you can loot once you have killed him or if you have a skeleton key so we'll kill him using the admin command and as i said fragment of power the scroll for the new recipe and of course the skeleton key once you have the scroll just use it in your inventory it will unlock the new specialist ammunition for and let's have a look at what that entails so we'll go into this section right here type it out and it should be somewhere down here there we go so basically you get these three arrows and that's pretty much it the cave itself not very long not very difficult just be careful with the boss so let's have a look at the arrows and what they do i'm just going to quickly swap out my armor and then we'll pick on this wonderful boss right here this is the crocodile boss near newbie river we'll be testing out the various arrows first things first we're gonna go with the fire spark arrows and like the name you expect an explosion but it does not do that what it does do instead of course it makes a little uh spark if you can see it if you haven't seen it that's fine i will show that off later uh, however it does also apply and stack bleeds so this is definitely a good source of ammunition to have 
you can combine these with the snake arrows which are very very easy to make and apply the uh, poison so you can definitely dot up your bosses whilst the thrall is tanking and do a very good job next up is of course the smoke arrow so this is what will happen if you are in it and i don't know what happened there why it disappeared i think that was bugged out or something uh now i can see applications for this in pvp i don't know if it actually does anything to the npcs i mean this particular boss seems to be focused on my thrall but it is quite interesting. Next up is the acid arrow. It does make a little bang noise as you can see which is quite nice. Or here actually. And it leaves an acid cloud. You don't want to be in it because it's not going to be fun. I'm guessing it's going to do some damage. But I think the ones I like the most so far are the uh, fire spark arrows. For the simple fact that they apply the bleed. So I'm just having a look at the damage from the Ask Cloud. It doesn't seem to make that much of a difference, whereas the Bleed Arrows or the Fire Spark Arrows seem to do a fair better damage. So I'm going to try and do some shots to show you the little spark that I was on about, which is quite interesting. So on contact with the enemy, it will have a little spark animation, which I absolutely like. It's a detail that I've noticed. Uh, I don't know if any other ammunition does this or if it's just exclusive to this. Uh, I haven't actually paid attention, to be fairly honest, until now. Uh, I have paid attention to this because it is a fire spark ammunition, which is pretty neat. Uh, this is what you can read about the smoke arrow. I think it would have some good applications in PvP. You can kind of layer those around in case of uh, combat. It does limit the peripheral vision that a player would have. So you can definitely use that as a way of having the element of surprise. And then the acid arrows, which kind of just leaves an acid cloud. Now, that is not necessarily a very functional sort of ammunition, simply because if you're opponent is moving around it will be able to get out of that acid cloud so i think my favorite are the fire spark arrows that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found this video useful and informative if you have please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new content to the channel also for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord link to this you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself until next time stay safe folks